My brothers and sisters, many times we have problems and difficulties. We face issues in our lives. It's only normal and natural. Nothing will happen exactly per our plan. Things happen as per the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So some people deal with it in different ways. Some will tell you that, you know, I have a problem. I have an issue. This issue, I spoke to this person. I have a contact in this department. I spoke to that person. I did this with this one. I went to this doctor. I went to the top doctor in the world. I got a loan from a wealthy businessman and so on. I'm sure we hear this. And we hear these things at times people say, I went to the bank and mashallah, you know, I got a loan. I'm only paying 6%, but I got a loan. Not realizing that what they are doing is actually haram sometimes. However, even if it is something permissible, let us remember, never take supplication out of the equation. No matter what it is, always make dua, call out to Allah, keep on calling out to Allah. If it is a doctor and you have got the top doctor in the whole world, it is only by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that doctor will be able to diagnose the sickness and will be able to perhaps carry out the procedure if a procedure is required in a way that it is successful. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In our hands is the trial, but in the hands of Allah is the success or failure of that particular trial. So it's important for us to note that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to call out to him at all times. Call out to Allah. When Allah has made a need in your life, it's because he loves you. Because he wants you to cry to him. That's the reason. You haven't cried enough to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those tears that will result in your entry into Jannah. Those are the tears that you are meant to be allowing to flow down your cheeks. Subhanallah. When it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being called out to, he loves it so much that sometimes he keeps us in a difficult situation so that we keep calling out to him. A lot of us, we have a disease. What's the disease? When we are in need, we make dua, we come for salah, we become pious, we become close to Allah. The minute the need is not there anymore, everything flowing, everything smooth, we are wealthy and healthy and we've got everything flowing as per our wish for a little bit of time for a temporary period we tend to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he strikes once again for us it seems negative but in actual fact it is not verse number 186 of surah al-baqarah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam something very interesting when my worshippers ask you about me tell them that i am very near that's what allah is saying when my worshippers ask you about me tell them i am very near I respond to the call of the one who supplicates me whenever he calls out to me. I respond. I know that he has called out and I know I have the solution for his problem. But I also know that that response is as per my wish, not per his wish. I know what is better for him. It is something amazing. My brothers and sisters keep calling out to Allah. Allah says, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ I am close. I answer the call of the caller whenever he calls out to me, supplicates. It's important to keep making dua.